Just look at this gorgeous costume. This is what Aisha wears at the beginning of Shakalaka Baby. The coat weighs about 15 pounds. It is so incredibly heavy that she needs help just to put it on. With the addition of a dazzling necklace, the Evil Queen is now ready to rock and roll. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about this explosion of uh, Southeast Asian pop culture around the world. The last couple of years, we've seen some really big movies in the West, like uh, Monsoon Wedding, Bandit Like Beckham. Now, first time on Broadway, I see Bombay Dream. What's happening? I mean, the Indian culture seems to be getting inroads into the West. It, it is. You know, Indian culture has always been, like, it's always been available to Western culture, but it's always been the domain of, you know, intellectuals, and it's always been in, in the sort of independent art side. And young people and commercial enterprises have never taken on Indian culture. Now, it's stepping into the mainstream because of Madonna and because of, you know, Beyonce and all these people, you know, they have taken on the clothing. So, you know, you have younger fashion, like Indian fashion that is like fused with Western clothes, but also the music. You know, there's been now, um, you know, hip hop uses a lot of Indian music. So that has changed the way that people listen to music because there's a lot more Eastern influence in hip hop. So, yeah, I love that it's becoming part of this sort of modern pop culture. Even my career as an actress has changed because of that, because I've always done independent film and independent subject matter. And now I find myself in a more commercial arena uh -huh. because that's where India has gone. Being Indian, do you find that ever to be a handicap for your work in the West? You know, um, I've heard a lot of people, like I've heard a lot of Indian actors and South Asian actors say, oh, it's terrible, there aren't any roles for Asian characters. And, but I actually think things are changing now. And I'd never want to hear anybody complain about that again. You know, I mean, I think it's actually, I'm in a better position the way I look than, you know, a tall blonde girl because they have so much competition. You know, I've been offered a Chekhov play where I play a Russian girl called Mina in a play called Seagull. Um, you know, so the possibilities are endless and I think that casting people are thinking outside the box. A true glimpse of South Asian culture in the United States, Bombay Dreams introduces the rhythm and sensuality of India to an American audience. Coming up next, we'll meet some of the most anticipated South Asian trendsetters in fashion and music. And now let's take a look at some new South Asian artists who are changing the sound of popular music. Dance With You is the hottest single in Britain by newcomers Jay Sean and Juggy D. Their upbeat R&B rhythm with traditional Indian Bhangra beats has become a huge hit in the West. And the man behind this single is one of the most sought after of all producers, Rishi Rich. His passion for traditional Indian music and his love for R&B, hip hop and reggae led him to mix these styles. Rishi's new sound began the trend for South Asian beats. The world quickly noticed his talent and his South Asian beats. In 2004, the world's biggest pop star, Britney Spears, asked Rishi to remix her hit song, Me Against the Music, which proved even more popular than the original version. This two-time winner of the Asian Music Awards for Best Producer and winner of Best Single at the Carlton Multicultural Achievement Awards produces musicians worldwide. Rishi's Dance With You has overrun the British music charts and he is blazing a trail that many new South Asian artists are following. Oh, 
Now we'll introduce you to some of the hottest places in New York City to experience the best of South Asian pop culture. First, a boutique in New York's most fashionable shopping area, Soho. Alpana Bawa is a popular shop that features Indian designer clothing. Their inventory includes fine, handcrafted, formal and casual women's wear, men's shirts, accessories like bags and shoes, and even lively decorative cushion covers. Alpana Bawa is from Delhi, India. After working in her own country as a designer, she moved to New York in 1983 to pursue her career and explore exciting and innovative designs. Alpana's sense of style is colorful and fun. She playfully mixes colors, working with custom-made fabrics and patterns inspired by Western art and photos. And she designs it all, from the fabric to the finished garment. In India, I grew up with a lot of color. I traveled a lot with my mother and everywhere I went, all the tribal people were wearing a lot of color and mixing up all kinds of gold and silver and the silhouettes were just layering a lot of different aspects which you would never see in the Western world. I think in the Western clothing, it's very minimal. Whereas um, I like the idea of, you know, mixing two or three different patterns together and uh, wearing it together and still making it look beautiful. Now let's take a look at Alpana's beautiful design collection. Now it's time to explore the famous nightlife of New York. Every night its streets are filled with visitors from around the world and the always energetic New Yorkers. As you can imagine, there is endless nightlife in the city, but tonight we'll take you to one of the most exciting parties in town. Basement Bangra is a monthly party that takes place in a legendary Manhattan nightclub called SOBs. It's one of the most popular South Asian parties and is now creating a lot of excitement among New York's party crowd. Rekha Malotra, also known as DJ Rekha, is the founder of Basement Bhangra. Bhangra is a cool fusion of electronic dance and hip hop beats mixed with traditional Indian folk music. Guests crowd the floor dancing to Rekha's beat. She was nominated Best DJ by the prestigious New York Magazine. You know, Bhangra music is, is something where I've never heard anybody not like it. It's very rhythmic, it has a lot of uh, feeling to it. It's got a very strong percussive sound. It's very uplifting and uh, it, it mixes well with hip hop and reggae. We're in New York City, which is the, one of the best places to be in the world. We get a very diverse crowd. People are really open to learning new things. Because of Bombay Dreams, there's a lot more attention and I just think it, it, it gives us an opportunity to showcase our art. Whereas 15, 20 years ago, we would be seen as some ethnic minority. Now we are taken seriously because we're credible. <laughs> 